10. <clears throat> F, announcements of closed session taken, I mean, actions taken in closed session, none. G, presentations. G1, highest attendance for, month, for the month. And we have. All right, good evening, everybody. So um, we have our highest attendance for the month two. And so first of all, what I'd like to do is have our school that had the testing. Yes. I'd like to have our school site administrator who had the highest attendance for the first month. If we can have Miss uh, Gabby Flores from Kennedy Gardens Elementary School, please come up. Let's give her a big round of applause. <laughs> So, Kennedy Gardens was the uh, number one uh, school when it comes to attendance for our first month. And so, uh, very proud of Kennedy Gardens. So, as you see, they have a, a beautiful trophy. And so, that trophy is going from school to school. And so, it's kind of like the torch is going to be passed. And so, we are very excited to report that the school site that has the second highest attendance is Maine's Elementary School. Yeah. And we can have Maine's uh, Mrs. Noriega and staff come up. Yeah. And so uh, Ms. Flores will be passing the torch or the trophy to Ms. Noriega. I know she doesn't want to let it go. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, we're going to have Ford take a, a picture, Ford President, uh, and we also have a banner, if you could all see it here in the front, and the banner uh, is to be proudly put on display at Maine's Elementary School, so that way all of our staff, all of our students, all of our parents can see the wonderful work and attendance <coughs> done and congratulations. Congratulations, Maine's Elementary School, again. So next month, we'll have a uh, month three, and so we'll see uh, if a Maine's Elementary School gets to keep the trophy <laughs> or if we have a new school site as the highest attendance. <laughs> so congratulations again, Maine's. Uh, moving on, uh, for the student uh, representatives, i uh, just like to... Uh, Welcome all of our student reps. It's uh, always amazing to have you here. I know it's your first meeting and you're probably nervous, uh, but uh, we're so excited to, uh, to hear your reports and all the wonderful activities that you have going on uh, at your school sites. All right, so first of all, uh, we uh, have from Aurora, we have Andy Herrera. Testing, testing. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Board of Education and Madam Superintendent and Administration. My name is Andy Herrera. I am filling in for Sarah Gonzalez, who couldn't make it today. Uh, these are the events that have taken place in the last few weeks. We were called into Moreno's office, which was the first week, <laughs> in mid-September to discuss and creating the Eagles Nest leadership. And we appointed officer. I am currently taking the position of Vice President we meet every Thursday and sometimes Tuesday if necessary. We discuss and plan events. Our first event was the back to school night on the 19th of September. We welcomed parents and visitors, provided nachos, hot dogs, and beverages. For October, we discussed and planned these activities. Breast cancer awareness, Wednesdays we wear pink to raise the awareness of breast cancer. Red ribbon week, we can wear red during the weekend, during the week of October 23rd through 27th, or our regular uniform. And on Tuesday during that week, we had the model school visit of California Continuation Education of Association. And we had a blood drive today. Spirit Week starts on Monday, November the 30th. Monday is 60s or tie-dye day. 
Tuesday is Halloween costume, Wednesday is pink day. Thursday is fan day, we could wear our favorite jersey or superhero. And Friday is twin day. That's all, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, from uh, Calexico High School, we have Juliana Fimbres. Uh, I'm not Juliana. <laughs> um, I'm going to be here for the whole year. Just My name is Daniela Cortez. Welcome. Oh, sorry about that. It's okay. Okay, well, uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the board, staff, parents, and students. My name is Daniela Cortez, and I'm Calexico High School student representative. Uh, since the beginning of the school year, the students of Calexico High School have participated in multiple events, and some of these events include pep rallies, dances, homecoming, and spirit week. For the month of September, we held our Greece-themed Welcome Back Pep Rally at Varner Gym, where cheerleaders and drumline performed. We had two separate assemblies, one for the whole freshman campus and the other one for our Calexico High School students. It has been a tradition at Calexico High School that for that month of October, students wear blue on Mondays to promote an anti-bullying environment, and on Wednesdays, they wear pink to support breast cancer awareness. We as well had another pep rally for the month of October, celebrating the 60th birthday of Willis Wardfield. Alumni, students, teachers, and parents joined in the memory of Willis Ward. This, year, this year's Alumni Award was presented to Mike Charles for his dedication to our community. On October 17th, ASB united with the San Diego Blood Bank for our annual blood drive where we had 122 donors. Uh, our homecoming dance was a success last Saturday at Varner Gym. Around 300 students attended this dance and had a blast. We as well had our official princesses and our queen nominees announced during the dance. For the freshman princess, we had Yanitza Almodovar, and our sophomore princess was Paulina Santiago. Our junior princess was Samantha Aviña, and for our senior candidates, we have Anaí Fonseca and Kitia Jara. Throughout this week, we had Spirit Week, and many students participated. For Monday, we had Mimi's Monday, in which we wear pajamas. On Tuesday was Tie Day. Wednesday was Worldwide Wednesday, in where we could dress up in other cultures. Thursday was Comic Con, well, today, and tomorrow will be Extreme Garnet. We as well had our skits pep rally held yesterday in which the overall theme was that the presidents have gone missing and it was up to the classes to pull off a great skit conveying of a movie and a TV series to try to solve the mystery. The seniors presented the movie Mean Girls with Law and Order. Uh, juniors presented the movie It with BuzzFeed Unsolved. Sophomores presented Scream and Scooby-Doo and the freshmen uh, presented Kidnapped and 48 Hours. However, there could only be one winner and it went to the seniors. We have our homecoming parade tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., passing through the school of Geeky, Jefferson, Duo, and Rockwood. And we wish to all of you guys can go and support our parade. And we as well will have our carnival held tomorrow from 3.30 to 6 at the softball field. Uh, free entrance. Clubs will be selling food or having games for our community. Anyone is invited. And we will have, for entertainment, we will have the band Kachimba. And we would really appreciate if the elementary schools can present this to their students tomorrow tomorrow morning so they can as well come and have fun and we ask everyone to come and support our football team on their last game tomorrow against Central Union High our queen will be announced during halftime and that's it for the night so thank you guys thank you now from uh, Calexico High School 9 Johnny Valenzuela Um, good, at, good evening, uh, members of the board and parents and guardians. Uh, unfortunately, Johnny Valenzuela wasn't able to come uh, this um, this night, so I am the a I'm the ASB representative, so I'm here to fill him in. Huh? And what's uh, your name? Aldo Madrigal. No. So far, what we have been doing was preparing for our, our own pep rally, not the one that uh, uh, the CHS main campus has made. We're preparing for it. We've done our the Breast Cancer Awareness Week, where everyone starts wearing pink only on Wednesdays. We're still doing that right now. And we've also been preparing for uh, our Spirit Week. Our Spirit Week is going on right now. Um, Monday was um, where we wear pajamas, which is pajama day. Um, Tuesday, we wear, Tuesday we wear um, a Worldwide Wednesday, dressed as a different culture. Um, Thursday, Thursday, um, Thursday we dressed as, as, what did we dress as? Sorry, this is a last minute thing. I barely got this. Um, Thursday we dressed as, as what? 
a superhero, superhero, superhero. And Friday we just as uh, Friday we're going to just as uh, Extreme Garnet, and that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. And from Enrique Camarena, Adrian Campos. Good evening. Oh. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Adrian Campos. I am the ASB president of Enrique Camarena Junior High. And so far, we have held a dance for the seventh and the eighth graders. We have also had our ASB elections, and we have new and returning members. Um, we have been raising awareness for breast cancer by wearing pink every Wednesday. On October 19th, we participated in the Great California Shakeout Drill. Um, on the 25th was our Red Ribbon and I Think Assembly, which was yesterday, and the Camarena family visited. Um, and tomorrow is our annual fall carnival. So we're going to have games and food tomorrow. And this m next week, we're going to have our parent, teacher, student-led conferences. And also this week, we were doing Red Ribbon Week. And on Monday, we had Mixed Up Monday. Tuesday, we had Superhero Day. Wednesday, you could either wear pink or Memoji, which is you can dress up as a meme or wear emojis. Today, Thursday, we had Throwback Thursday, so you could dress up um, from a different era, I guess, the 60s, 70s, 80s. And then tomorrow, we are going to be doing Fandom Day, which you would wear something that you are a fan of. Um, thank you. Have a nice evening. Thank you. And then from uh, Willy Moreno, we have Brianda Montaño. Good uh, evening. My name is Brianda Montaño, and I am president and part of the ASB at William Moreno Junior High. I'm here to tell you about the activities we have done and are coming up for the months of September and October. For example, we had our first pep rally where we welcomed back our Aztecs and our incoming Aztecs. We also introduced our cheerleaders, house points, and ASB staff. We also brought the CHS drumline, and the students loved it. We have a screaming competition that ended up in the tie between the 7th and 8th graders. Next, we have our back to school dance on September 8th. We had around 70 Aztecs come in to dance. We had a mini game section, sni snacks section, this being shaved ice, chips, and sodas. On September 13th, we had our back to school night. On September 15th, we had our first parent picnic with a piñata. We had our Aztecs wear green, red, or Mexican attire. The following week, we had our success week, where the first day, Monday, September 18, we wore our elementary shirt. On Tuesday, September 19, we had Aztec Friday. On Wednesday, September 20th, we had Nerd or Athlete Day. On Thursday, September 21, we wore CHH, CHS gear. And on Friday, September 22, we brought college or university gear. On September 28th, the ASB went to CATA at San Diego del, del Mar, where we those were all the activities we had for the month of September. Now, these are the events we have for the month of October. On October 13th, we had our first noon activity for House Point. On October 19th, we had our poster party to show Aztec Pride during the game against Enrique Camarena Junior High. On October 20th, we had a pep rally during lunch. Now, for Spirit Week, starting Monday, we had Neon Day. Also, on this day, we had the Border Patrol present again say no to drugs. On October 24th, we had a crazy sock day. On October 25th, extreme red day. On October 26th, today, we had cowboy day. On this day, we are also had our ice cream social. On October 27th, you can wear your Halloween costumes, and we are also having our Halloween dance. Those are all the events we had in September and the ones for October. Thank you. Thank you very much, students. G3, Students of the Month Recognitions. So the way we're going to work it, first of all, congratulations to the students for excelling, doing an excellent job when it comes to academics at your school sites. Congratulations to our parents that are here as well. So 
when we call out your name, please come up, uh, and we will have a student representative uh, read a short bio. Yeah. And so our first student of the month from Aurora is uh, Giselle Pereda. She's not here. That's here. No, she's not. Okay, you can read the short bio. Oh, the short. Thank you. My bad. Her short bio is this: What she plans to do during the high school is to return, or from our is to return back to the high school. And after she graduates, she plans to join the Marines. And the reason for this is because she's following her family tradition, which she prefers to do. And a short bio says she seems to enjoy Aurora for the communication we have, the plannings, and maybe the teachers. Can't be completely honest with you here, but she, she the one the something she doesn't enjoy to have is close campus. She misses the high school for the open campus and the activities they do. For example, they get to go out and eat, hang out with their friends, because she doesn't have that many friends over there, as she told me. And that is all from her short bio. Thank you. <laughs> our our next student of the month from uh, Aurora is Isaac Mendoza. He was not able to make it here either. <laughs> His short bio is um, he wanted to graduate from Aurora faster so he could be able to go to the IBC for two years, then go to San Diego State University. Well, after he's done with that, he's planning on joining the U.S. Customs. And the reason why is because he has um, an uncle who inspired him to become a custom. So he's the one that wearing the blue uniform waiting for you at the border. <laughs> <laughs> and um, his likes, he likes Aurora so much because of how classes he's able to attend. The also the opportunities he's able to get. For example, Sergeant Lopez, Pacheco, and um, other people who are, are able to tell him more about his job that he prefers to have. And um, hmm, he really doesn't hate Aurora at all. <laughs> as far as he told me. And that is all from uh, his short bio, which he has told. Thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, from Calexico High School, uh, we have uh, Juliana Fimbres. Uh, Juliana Fimbres would like to thank her parents and friends for all the support they have given her and her parents for keeping up with her crazy schedules and her friends for always pushing her to be her best. She is currently the ASB 2017-2018 president and she helps to plan all of the activities for students in Calexico High School such as pep rallies, footballs, and games. She plans to attend a four-year university, university and earn a bachelor's degree and hopes to continue her musical career. If she could give any advice to herself, she would tell herself to always keep trying and moving forward and to never give up on any of her dreams just because things got in the way. Thank you. Our second student of the month from Calexico High School, Jose Leon. Mm -hmm. Huh? You can read okay. the short bio. Uh, Jose Leon would like to thank his family and teachers for having all the for having all the help received at home and at school by his teachers. And he pl uh, his plans after high school are going to a college for a good education and hopefully getting a job. And the advice he would give to his younger self is always trying to be a better person and to overcome yourself and everything. Thank you. From uh, Calexico High School, ninth grade, we have Christina Elizabeth Quintero. Unfortunately, she wasn't able to make it. Um, Christina Elizabeth Quintero's, um, her favorite subject is art. She has loved to draw since a very young age. She plans to attend SDSU or UCSD. She she states they would be ideal because they are not far from home and specialize in the medical field. She is a member of Circle of Friends and plans to be a pediatrician. One thing she would change 
about our world is to end discrimination because you see it every day and it hurts people. If everyone would treat each other equally, the problems would be solved much easier and we wouldn't have to as many problems as we have today. Thank you. Also a student uh, of the month for Calexico High School, ninth grade, Alberto Mosqueda. Alberto Mosquera, he likes all his classes and does not have a favorite. He plans to attend the University of Southern California and learn to be a game developer and learn about coding animation. He plans to major in computer engineering. He, he's a, he is a member of ASB, Navy Cadets, and Circle of Friends. If he could change... If he could change one thing, it would be to end world hunger and wish for world peace. Many people are dying because of war and have nowhere else to go. One in ten children don't have, do not have anything to eat. From uh, Enrique Camarena, student of the month, we have uh, Monique Ureña. Monique Ureña is in eighth grade. She is, a, she is the daughter of Isabel and Raul Ureña. Some of her hobbies include listening to music. She's part of Mesa, softball. She likes sewing, hanging out with friends, and being a dedicated fan and also uh, being a helping hand. Her favorite subjects in school are Algebra One and Marching Band. She, when she graduates, she would either like to be a neurosurgeon or a neuroengineer because both professions include her interest of the brain and they include helping and saving people's lives. She would like to thank her family, especially her brother Ra Raul Ureña, because they helped to build up her character and raise her to be a compassionate, a person who stands up for what she believes in and they also taught her valuable skills that would that she plans to be able to use in her academic and personal life and also student of the month from Enrique Camarena junior high school we have Eric Ureña Eric Ureña is in eighth grade. He is the son of Robert and Leticia Ureña. His, some of his hobbies include learning and playing musical instruments, such as the piano, saxophone, and bass guitar. He also likes to read and watch videos about astronomy and watch and play video games. Some of his favorite subjects in school include math, science, and marching band. When he graduates, he would like to be an aerospace engineer or a structural engineer so he can have a great job. He would like to thank his parents, brother, sister, and his teachers because they give him the support that he needs to do his best and help him learn new things every day. Moving on to uh, Willy Moreno Junior High School, student of the month, we have Chantel Rubalcaba. Our seventh grade district student of the month is Chantel Rubalcaba. Chantel is daughter of Vivian and Erin Rubalcaba. She has one younger sister, Devona, and two younger brothers, Erin and Eduardo. Chantel's favorite class is social studies. Some of her other favorite things are pizza from Little Caesars, any shade of blue, and Tilsa's. Her dream destination is the city of love, Paris, France. Chantel is thankful to her parents because they have been role models in, the f in her future. She would like to attend the University of California, San Diego and become a teacher. Before then, Chantel's focus is all about school and is to graduate high school with honors. And also, student of the month from uh, Willy Moreno Junior High School, we have Gael Gámez Guzmán. William Moreno, District Student of the Month, is 8th grader Gael Garcia Guzman. Gael is son of Lorena Guzman and Gilberto Gámez. He, he has only one brother who is a 7th grader at William Moreno 
junior high and two sisters who attend Kennedy Gardens. Kyle's favorite class is AVID because he likes the organizational part of it. He doesn't mind note taking at all. He also likes hamburgers, especially the ones he eats in Mexicali, the color red, and this Nintendo song you've probably never heard of called Jump Up Superstar. Kyle doesn't wish to wish to have a fancy car or visit a faraway place. All he wishes for this year is to own the top games of 2017, which are Sonic Forces and Super Mario Odyssey. In the future, he would like nothing more than to attend college and become a Nintendo or Sega programmer. We hope your dreams come true, Gail. Well, again, congratulations to all of our students of the month. Uh, we're very proud of uh, all your efforts and all your hard work. Keep it up. And again, like I mentioned earlier, congratulations to all of our parents that are here as well. So I know you put a lot of effort in making sure that they're doing their homework and doing everything that they're supposed to be doing. So thank you for that. And um, one of the things that we're going to be doing now is there's cake in the hallway. So we're going to be taking a short break. So again, thank you and congratulations.
am I on? Hello? Okay, we're going to go ahead and start this uh, meeting. We go on to H, comments from the public. The board will take any and all comments from the public related to an item on the agenda or any other item of district business that is not on the agenda. And we do have one request, Cedric Sesenia. Good evening. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable President of the Board and Board Members. Um, I, like I was mentioned, my name is Cedric Sesenia. And first of all, kind of off subject, not what I wasn't here to talk about, but it was refreshing to hear some of the comments from these children. I, I'm actually kind of happy that I came over here tonight uh, because it's not all ugly. Uh, in my line of work, I see a lot of ugly stuff. So, you know, <laughs> it's kind of nice to see that there's a refreshing uh, hope out there for these children. Anyways. Uh, the reason I'm here, my name is Cedric. Uh, I'm the current president for the Cheer Booster Club. I'm speaking on uh, item, I believe it was I-12, which is the approval for travel for uh, the cheer team, varsity cheer team to Texas. Uh, first of all, I wanted to thank you guys for the work you guys do, not only for the board, but also for teachers, administrators, and support staff. I don't think you guys hear enough how thankful as parents we are and there are some teachers here actually who taught my children and you know I do thank them for uh, how my children have turned out especially my senior um, it's it's actually been good so uh, continuing with what I wanted to share with you guys was uh, a bit of the experience we had last year last year actually we went to Texas as well uh, as the booster club we actually supported the travel by, by doing fundraising activities uh, so that the children could actually benefit from this ex excellent experience. I got the opportunity to actually travel along with the team as well. And I got to see firsthand, you know, the, what actually truly happened. You know, we hear on paper, we read on paper leadership skills. We see the great things that do happen out there. But unless you see them firsthand, you really don't appreciate the effect that it actually has on these young ladies and young men as well. Um, so just not to make it too long, uh, basically what I'm here for is I'm not too sure you know, what discretionary funds that might be available from the board. And if there's none, I understand. Um, I'm not here to pound the, the pulpit and, and you know, call it uh, that we need money. We are going to do our best as the, as the booster club to try to get the funds to get to Texas. And uh, last year, we were able to actually make a check donation of $6,000 to the school so that the, the girls could travel. This year, I'm here uh, to obviously, I, I looked at the balance sheet you know, that was attached, and it was you know, surprising to see the amount of funds that were available currently. Um, so I want you to not be afraid <laughs> that uh, you, know, you guys are going to be caught with a, with a bill that you weren't expecting or any of that. If there are funds available, we you know, obviously would greatly appreciate any help. I'm not talking about thousands of dollars. It could be 100 bucks. You know, we will do the rest. But, um, you know, we, I want you guys to, to know that we're very thankful for the work you guys do. We're very thankful for the, for the approval if it does happen. You know, just some of the challenges we have, you know, are that parents don't necessarily have the ability to afford the trip. Uh, so I don't know if I'm cut off at this point, but definitely, you know, some parents are challenged uh, fiscally, right, to be able to make these, you know, get the girls to Texas. So any support from you would be greatly appreciated. You know, we're going to do our part as well. Uh, we're not expecting a hand a handout, you know, just like that. And if you can't, I'll challenge you guys to, uh, you know, a healthy challenge. I will put 50 bucks on the table, and if you guys can match it as board members, I would greatly appreciate it, you know. Yeah. Or if you can do less, it, no problem, okay? Thank you, guys. I appreciate the work you guys do. Thank you. I consent agenda. All items appearing before be, will be acted upon by one motion without discussion. Uh, Do we, Ms., uh, Mr. President, I would like to pull out I-11. Um, I-11. Any other item? I also want to pull I-11. Just I have a few, qu a few questions. Mm -hmm. Any Anything else? Any other items? Okay. Um, so do we have a, a vote to approve the others? So 
Motion by um, Castillo to all approve second. all items with exception of I-11. Second by Alvarado. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Voting in favor are Romero Calderon Castillo, Alvarado, and Calderon Jr. Um, can someone give us information on I-11? Carlos Wismans Williams. The way that we have here is this uh, is for three certificated staff uh, from Calexico High School that are members of the safety and the district committee. Uh, and the three individuals that are being recommended to attend this training, one of them is uh, Mr. Michael Davies, uh, who is the law enforcement uh, teacher at Calexico High School. Uh, we have a Commander Fictil and a Master Chief Galanay uh, who are the um, two um, Navy program uh, instructors. And then uh, we also have the SRO uh, Hernandez, who is a new school resource officer, uh, along with our principal. So those are the ones that are being recommended to attend uh, based on the uh, site safety and district committee. So is this, is this, any different or is this any uh is this is like a continuation of what uh, the president and i went to during the summer in fulton where a lot of our personnel went oh so oh what is this i mean you gave you gave us who's traveling but i i think this is a conference that they've attended in the in the past uh specifically to las vegas uh if i remember correctly uh, this is one of the few conferences that is offered where these particular seminars for law enforcement and educators um, are, you know, presented. So I know that that's the, the reason that this particular conference is, uh, is being recommended to, specifically in Las Vegas. Well, my question was, um, if, if this is a safety, a site safety a district um, committee or um, travel, um, I'd like to see some proctors on the list. Um, I, don't, I don't think we have any proctors on our safety committee, but I'd like to, uh, since they're part of our keeping our campuses safe, I think some of the proctors should um, join um, the uh, individuals that are going to this, um, because they, they work, um, hand-in-hand hand with Mr. Hernandez, which is the SRO, and I think we need to train our proctors because proctors are our first responders whenever we have an incident on our site. So um, I don't know if we can consider them. I don't know how the rest of the, the board feels, but I, I think proctors are very critical in this. So, If the board would like to make a recommendation to add one proctor, that would be discretion of the board. Second. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, Mr. Romero is, and then second by Alvarado. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion uh, is approved. Thank you. We on, we go on to J, informational items. J one superintendent report. Uh, currently, our superintendent, Ms. Ambriz, is uh, in Sacramento, so they're receiving an award um, with Brisa Price, who is our Extended Learning Program Coordinator. And so this award, they're actually receiving it uh, by the State Superintendent of Public Instruction, Mr. Tom Torlickson, so it's a, it's a great honor. Uh, the award is given to emerging leaders who are dedicated to serving the people and youth in the California expanded uh, field. And we do want to congratulate uh, Ms. Brisa Price for doing an excellent job with our ACES Assets uh, After School programs. Um, uh, we are currently having our red ribbon activities across the district. All of our schools are doing an excellent job in promoting our red ribbon. Say No to Drugs Week by doing a variety of activities to bring awareness to our students uh, in a fun and a meaningful way. Uh, and lastly, I do want to uh, report that there was a beautiful celebration of life that was held yesterday uh, at Calexico High School in the Varner Gym. Uh, for one of our teachers who passed away recently, Mr. Eric Lopez, uh, there was an amazing, amazing testimony that was given by the family 
uh, by staff, uh, by students. Um, and they talked about how he touched uh, their lives uh, and always encouraged them, inspired them, and gave them confidence that they needed in order for them to reach their goals. Uh, Mr. Lopez was a true role model for all of us, and he lived his life full of joy and to the fullest. Uh, he will greatly be missed, uh, but he will never be forgotten, and our thoughts and prayers continue to go out to the Lopez family. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gonzalez. J2, Association Comments, ACT. Good evening, this is Betty Nunez, Calexico High School teacher. Uh, good evening, fellow uh, board members and uh, assistant superintendent. Uh, I just want to remind uh, you as board members to please consider and review the uh, change in contract, arbitrarily and unilater unilaterally change the contract of uh, getting students into classrooms that are uh, vocational shops, and that will be a safety issue as well. And I hope you, that you look into this. Please come over and check us out. Um, again, it could be a safety issue where I know I've seen a couple of you coming into our shops. And uh, I do appreciate that we go back and uh, approve and pay any extra and overages that we might still have pending. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Nunez. CHCA? No comments today? Thank you very much. J3, ROP committee. Need a report at this time. Thank you, Trustee Alvarado. J4, board re reports. Uh, these are informational reports by board members, no action taken. We'll start with Mr. Romero. Thank you, Trustee Romero. Calderon. To welcome everybody to our meeting. And uh, as we, uh, just like we, uh, the, our assistant superintendent. What is that echo that I hear? That I hear. Um, just like um, our assistant Sue mentioned that yesterday we had the uh, celebration of life for Mr. Lopez. So thanks everybody that attended to um, to this um, festivity because we were celebrating his life and not his, uh, uh, his passing. So he will always be remembered in this community. So other than that, um, I've gone to a couple of schools lately, and uh, I'm, I'm glad that uh, everything is going um, okay. So just remember that uh, student safety should be our first concern, okay? Uh, uh, but again, everything that I saw was, was uh, to our standards. So thank you for doing a great job, everybody. Thank you. Chica Steele. Yeah, just, uh, I'll keep it just one thing. Um, again, opportunity last week to attend the county school boards association meeting. Uh, Mr. Gonzalez was there, along with others from across the county, other superintendents and uh, school board members. Just bringing back and sharing uh, opportunity that's coming to the valley. Uh, four board members, it's their master of governance. Many times these are offered, what, mid-California, southern and northern California. The first time they'll bring it to the valley itself, so it is convenient for us sharing the flyer. Uh, just another opportunity for uh, board members for their own professional growth. So sharing this for us. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Castillo, Trustee Alvarado. Just want to thank everybody showing up here tonight. Um, congratulations, Spains, on receiving that that award. Keep it up. Um, thank you to student reps that showed up also as well, and also all the students that were recognized today and their parents. Um, that's it. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Trustee Alvarado. As for me, uh, again, main congratulations and keep it up. Uh, it's, it's great that you're engaging our students and to come and learn, which is very important. And that's why we're here. And that, I have no further uh, comment on this. Okay. Um, <clears throat> K. Action items, consideration, and action approval of the following items. K. One. Awarding the bid. For the Colesco Unified School Desert Plumbing Replacement Emergency Repair Program. Moved by Romero, second by Calderon Jr. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 
Uh, in favor of the motion, Romero Calderon Castillo, Alvarado, and Calderon Jr. K2 resolution to establish deferred maintenance fund 14 for years 2016 through 2017 and 2017 through 2018 school year. Um, so what this resolution is doing is it is um, allowing the district to continue to operate a fund 14 which is our deferred maintenance fund we currently um, don't receive deferred maintenance revenue from the state so um, most districts are or public entities they close the fund well we choose to leave it open because it allows us to separate maintenance from deferred maintenance. So what this resolution does is we transfer about $110,000 a year to Fund 14 and we, all of the expenditures like replacing air conditioners and that's kind of one of our big um, money costs or, or deferred maintenance costs here at this district. I can share that um, over the last two to three years we've replaced um, 70, 74 replacement ACs through the de through deferred maintenance over the last two to three years and that does not include the ACs that are part of the prop 39 so we do use deferred maintenance and we do um, use the fund it just it's a way for us to keep separate and we just keep the cost um, tracked in a different fund so what this resolution does since we did operate it for 16 17 um, and we plan on operating it for 17 18 it allows us to commit those dollars for deferred maintenance purposes only and this year or for 1617, the reason why we're doing a, re a resolution is because it's now being required, required as a part of the audit guide. So as a part of our audit, we need to have a resolution um, established. Moved by uh, Romero, second by Alvarado. Oh, it's a roll call, so. Yes. Yes. No, yes. Alvarado, Calderon Jr., yes. Motion is approved. K3 pay, uh, accounts payable pre-list and addendum. Moved by Romero, second by Calderon Jr. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. In favor of this motion, Romero, Calderon, Castillo, Alvarado, and Calderon Jr. K4 approval of salary schedule increase for certificated employees. Moved by Calderon, second by Calderon Jr. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. In, in favor of this motion, uh, Romero Calderon Castillo, Alvarado and Calderon Jr. K-5 approval of IID grant awarded for the improvement of culinary arts program at Calexico High School. So moved. Moved by Calderon, second by Alvar Alvarado. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 In favor of this motion, Romero Calderon Castillo, Alvarado and Calderon Jr. K-6, Certificated Employment Report. I um, motion to approve to exclude Samuel Gutierrez from a head baseball coach. Second by Romero, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 In favor of this motion is Romero Calderon Castillo, Alvarado, and Calderon Jr. K-7, Classified Employment Report. I motion to approve the report with a denial request of Jose Barron for unpaid leave. Second by Romero. All those in favor? Aye. Please say aye. In, mo in favor of this motion, Romero Calderon Castillo, Alvarado, and Calderon Jr. L, reconvene to close uh, two earlier closed session. We have, we're not going back. M, reconvene to open session. Uh, N, announcement of action taken in closed session. None. O, adjournment of this. Do we have a motion? So moved. Moved by Romero, second by Alvarado. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 In favor of adjourning this meeting is Romero Calderon Castillo, Alvarado, and Calderon Jr. Good night, everyone.